experiment uh, measures uh, the ability to remember a sequence of uh, sequence of words. Uh, so what happens is we're showing a sequence of named images to remember, and immediately afterward you will see a screen with nine images arrayed in a grid. Click on all the images you were shown in the same order they were given. If you cannot remember the order of the words, but can remember the words, click them in as close the, uh, in as close the, to, to the original order as you can. When you've clicked on all the words you were shown, click done. If you are correct, your next list will be one longer, otherwise it will be one shorter. Okay. So ready, so what we have, we have fish, bus, and plane, chipmunk, fish, bus, plane, and chipmunk, chipmunk. So what happens here is, is we are uh, testing the memory span that somebody has. Uh, memory span is a very important uh, part of intelligence. So the more information you can store in short-term memory, the better you are in executing all kinds of different work-related uh, tasks. So uh, this is actually how this game works. When I'm done, I get a, uh, a new one. I get pear, chipmunk deer, bird, and plane. So I get pear, chipmunk, deer, and plane. Um, and when we go on to the next uh, sequence, then it becomes, uh, so it's uh, actually this one's incorrect. So I get one which is less longer. I well, wasn't paying attention while I was speaking, but the idea was um, is that you have to um, select those images and then move on to the next uh, next uh, exercise um, and this will, will be repeated several times so you get an accurate uh, estimate on what the memory span of the uh, specific person is.